Are you looking for a place to report a pothole in your neighborhood? Or is there litter in a park? Maybe you just want to find your trash pickup schedule. Well, 630 City is your answer for that and many other city services. It's been serving Jacksonville residents for more than 10 years. A lot of people are familiar with the number, but the phone isn't the only option to reach 630 City. You can also find it online. Using 630 City online is easy. First, open your internet browser and type in www.coj.net. Once here, hover your mouse over Online Services. Select Request a Service. Then scroll down and select Service Request 630 City. This is what your page will look like. Create Issue allows you to enter a new issue or service request. Look Up Issue allows you to check the status of an existing entry. Public Records is the option for requesting city public documents. How Does the Process Work provides the basic instructions for using 630 City Online. You'll also have access to contact information for other agencies outside the realm of 630 City assistance, including court documents, e-government, sheriff's office, and others. Let's start with creating an issue. From here, you can select from the list on the right, or if you don't see your option right away, just type in a keyword. Today, we're recording litter in a park, so we'll type the word litter and click the search icon. Choose from the list provided. We'll select parks, litter, and trash. That brings us to a simple entry point. First, enter a brief description of the issue or request. Next, make sure you include an accurate address or cross street. This is really important because if any part of the address is incorrect, the system may reject the entry. You can tell us who you are or remain anonymous. If you choose to tell us who you are, type in your first and last name, your phone number, whether or not you choose to be notified, and a valid email address. You can add your home address too. When you're done, choose Continue. You'll be presented with a review page that highlights the information you provided. Check to make sure it's accurate. Remember, a correct address is important for processing your information. Then select Edit if you want to change anything, or just Submit. This page comes up next. You'll want to keep this page for your records. Please make sure you record the entry number, including the year, which is represented by the first four digits. You'll need this to check the progress of the entry later. This page recaps the information you provided and provides an estimated timeline for action. You'll also get some additional information about the target area listed in your entry. Once complete, simply click on the logo in the upper left corner to go back to the main page. Now, let's look up an issue. From the main page, select Look Up Issue. This basic form will appear. From here, just type in your issue number, making sure that the year, represented by the first four digits, is correct. Next, enter the street address associated with the issue. An important note here, the address must be identical to the address entered when first entering the issue. That's why it's a good idea to save a record. Lastly, select the Get Issue Info button. A summary screen appears with information about the latest activity associated with the entry. You can see on this one, it states work is in progress. It also tells you who the responsible party is. In this case, it's the Parks and Recreation Department. From here, you can click on the logo in the upper left corner and return to 630 City's main page. If you have any issues with the online system, or you just want to hear a friendly voice, you can still call the dedicated call center staff at 630-CITY.